Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon. We're going to do um, a little bit more in our flogging series today. We're going to cover a technique that I don't personally teach, but I see it a lot in the dungeon. I'm going to talk about it today, and I'm going to demonstrate it. You won't see me use it an, an awful lot, but I am going to demonstrate it. And it works nicely for a, for a flogger. But in my Whoops in the Dungeon approach, the, the four techniques I teach uh, I contend can be used with all classes of whips, even single tails and bull whips. And I don't recommend this technique I'm going to show you today with a flogger, that you use it with a single tail, and I'm going to demonstrate and explain why I feel like it shouldn't be used with a single tail. But another flogging technique, it's kind of a wristy technique. You're just taking and making almost the flogger do like a fan that's rotating. You're throwing it over and over and over, overhand. We could shift it over to the backhand side and throw it over and over and over on the backhand side. So if I'm alternating those, you know, I'm throwing a forward figure eight in between and those rotations, okay? That's easy to do with a flogger. And you can even throw that, it's easy to range you can throw that where you punch it, or you can throw it with your where you're just feathering it. So that's a nice throw with a flogger. Why don't I, do, I teach that throw with a single tail? Well, I'll explain that. A single tail, and whether it's a, a snake, a bull, a signal, um, all single tails, when they're platted, they end up with a belly and with a spine. And the whip naturally wants to roll out with the belly. And if I'm throwing it fan style, then every time that whip comes around, it the 360, it's being twisted internally. And I contend over time Repeated throwing a whip like that over time is going to put a twist on the bolster. It could. It could even cause the bolster to shift. Now, could I hold it loosely in the palm of my hand and every time it comes around, throw it only with the belly? Yeah, that would actually take some practice and some coordination to do that. Could it be done? Yes. I've seen people throw that style overhand a lot in the horizontal, uh, the helicopter plane. I've seen them throw it vertically a lot, and I've seen it even thrown on the backhand side a lot. Uh, my concern with that is if you're holding in handshake grip, you're putting a lot of internal stress into your whip. If you're holding it finger flogger style, uh, that that's putting less stress on the whip, but it's still putting some stress on the whip. So I personally don't teach that style, but uh, in the sense of everyone comes on their 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 path to throwing whips and develops their style from different perspectives, that is a technique. Uh, I I don't see a problem with using it with a flogger with other classes of whips, but I think it does put internal stresses on a single tail that are better, better, it's better not to throw at that style. Uh, that's just my cut on it. There's gonna be some people out there that throw it that way. They're gonna go in the comments, Dex, you're full of, of BS and you're welcome to that. And I encourage you, if, if you like that style and you're accurate with it and you want to continue to throw it, by all means do it. If somewhere down the road the, your bolster shifts on you like it did on one of my snakes, then remember Dex told you so. As always, thanks for watching Whoops in the Dungeon.